Hey everyone, welcome back to Electro DIY. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a smart IoT electricity monitoring system that can monitor bill as well as power consumption of any connected AC appliance. You can monitor electricity consumption using internet anywhere around the world on your computer or smartphone. So, in this step-by-step -step DIY, we will make a web server for monitoring an email alert notification. Then we will install and configure an Android app using MQTT protocol. And finally, we will build the project on breadboard using only few components. Here, for the purpose of demonstration, I have connected two of the AC appliances to the circuit, one LED bulb and the second is stream iron. After powering up the circuit, first the LED is lit up. Here, you can see the live updates on the mobile app. The values you see on the screen correspond to power and bill consumption. Notice the values are pretty low for the LED bulb. But if we turn on the steam iron, both the values will gradually go up as shown in the mobile app. The link to the mobile app along with the website link and Arduino IDE code with libraries is given in the video description below. Notice that the modules can be powered on by USB connection or by single 5V source as shown here. Back to the mobile app. You see the change in values? So next we will go to the web server to cross check these values. Note these values are still going up. You can set up these values in the web server to certain threshold to get an email alert, which we will configure in just a moment. Here in the mobile app, you can see the history of all the values since the app was connected to the server, as I have shown here. So by monitoring these values, you can control the amount of electricity consumption. Now, without any delay, let's dive in. The first step will be to set up the IoT server. Here you can go to iot.adapfruit.com. If you don't have a user account, you can create one here. Next you sign in and click on dashboard. Name the project, anything like energy meter, give it a description. Next, go into the created dashboard. Here you can click on my key to get your username and active key which is also the authorization key. Next, you can create a block, the gauge block and then the text block. Name the gauge block power level and click on it in the next step. Next, give it a title. For example, power. Leave all the values as they are and click on create block. Next, go to the text block and name it bill. After creating the bill block, give the block a title like bill consumption or bill. Set the font size to whatever you like. Here I have set it to medium. You can even edit the layout of the block to make it more visible as I have adjusted here. Finally, save the layout. In the next step, we will go to ifttt.com, sign up as required and then login. Once logged in, click on create. Click on if this and search for add a fruit. Then click on monitor feed to upload IO. And then click on connect. A new window will pop up and you have to authorize the IFTTT server to use your IoT add a fruit account details. Then click on connect. Enter the field bill and then in relationship you can set it greater than or equal to 
This means that if the value of the bill is greater than or equal to 4, you should get an email notification. Click on Create Trigger. Next, click on Then That. Choose Gmail as IFTTT is supporting Gmail at the moment. Click on Send Yourself an Email. Then click Connect and authorize your Gmail account. Here in the subject, you can name the title of the subject. In the body section, you can edit as follows. Click on create action. Finally, click on continue and review the details and click finish. Your web server is now set up. Next, we will set up the mobile application in Android. Note that this application is currently available only in Android. Open the application, then enter the client ID as follows. Give it a name. Enter the server address, the port, username. The password will be the authentication key. Click on create. After that, go into the created client. That is the electricity meter. Then click on plus icon. You can name a value power in the topic section. Then enter the feeds address as shown. Note that the first string before the slash is the username. Click on create. Repeat the same procedure for the bill values. Now your mobile application is good to go. Follow the schematic diagram as shown here. You might be wondering why can't we use only NodeMCU for this project. The reason behind is the current sensor output sensor value in voltage range of 0 to 5 volts, while NodeMCU can only input sensor values of up to 3.3 volts. Therefore, if we use them directly, it can damage the NodeMCU. As a result, we have used a serial monitor as well as serial communicator between the sensor and the NodeMCU. Note that you have to use the neutral line of mains cable in series with the current sensor. This is done to ensure safe connection. The components required are Node MCU, Arduino Uno, Jumper cables, a breadboard, terminal block connector, a current sensor of 30 amps capacity, split extension board, an AC load, the final step is to build the circuit. Here we will program the modules so connect both of them with the computer. 
starting with the Nord MCU. Now here you can enter your Wi-Fi name, then password, then enter the username and authentication key of your IoT Adafruit web server. Note the variable energy tariff is used to calculate the bill amount so you will have to adjust it according to where you live as per your electricity bill calculation. As you can see I have comment on all the important quote lines which you need to consider. Here is the bill amount which will be used to calculate the bill using energy tariff variable. Here also I have entered the value of 4 to get the email alert so you have to change this value as you have changed in the web browser shown here. Next we will select the board and the COM port. And upload the code to NodeMCU. The next one is the Arduino code, which is pretty straightforward. Note that the current sensor is 30 amp, so we have to mention it here. Now we will upload the code. So once everything is done, power up the circuit. Here is the current sensor. Connected in series to the neutral line of the mains cable, the cable is powered up by the main supply as shown here. Going all the way through the current sensor to the extension cord which in turn powers up the AC load. The current sensor senses the current and sends serial data to the Arduino which then sends the data to the internet via node MCU. I hope you find this project useful. Thank you so much for watching.